Hey guys, welcome to Where Nerdy is Cool. My name is Paul, and tonight, well, I've been playing DCS World for about two weeks and been learning a lot. And uh, my cohort, Larry, who we do a lot of missions together, was asking me if I could piece together a quick video on how to create a mission. So, what I'm going to do here uh, at the desktop is going to show step by step, and in the post edit, I'm going to zoom in on a few things because I'm sure you can't see the entire screen uh, depending on how you're viewing this on YouTube. But uh, we'll do that hopefully in the post edit, and it should be pretty clear. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick mission editor. Um, we're going to go in there, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to set up a, a couple of ground targets, and we're going to make a, a base, an enemy base. I'm going to put a KC-135 out there on a practice loop so that if we decide we want to do air-to-air -air refueling, we can do that. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of A-10As and a couple of A-10Cs uh, at the friendly base and let's go ahead and get that started. We do that with the mission editor. I'm going to create a new mission and this right here by default is fine. It's just telling us what the reds and what the blues are and if I want to change any affiliations. This is perfectly fine. Essentially it's NATO versus the Warsaw Pact and then some. Let's just hit OK. Okay, here we are, and as you can see, we're looking at air bases, but we don't see any terrain yet. That's because the computer is cranking away here in the background, generating those tiles. There it is. Generally, what I like to do is I like to basically make um, the missions that we're doing, because we're just learning, fairly close together. So what I can do, there is a measure tool here in the corner. And what I can do is I can click, and I can drag, I can find out how far that is. So that's about 31 nautical miles, so that's going to be fine. That's going to give us time to climb out, and I hit it again to make it go away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that base right there, and I'm going to change the coalition to red. And if I click on the screen, that will go away. So now the system knows that's the bad guy base. And then over here, uh, this is already neutral. We're going to set that to blue because that's what we are. Okay. So those are the two steps for that right there. All right. First up, let's go ahead and set up. Let's zoom on in here. And again, this is I'm two weeks into the game. I'm sure I'll come back at this video and go, oh, yeah, 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 I did it all wrong. But this is the way I figured out how to do it. It might be totally wrong. If you have better ideas or suggestions, leave them in the comment section. But this is how I've been doing it. I've been zooming into the base. And what I do over here is under Objects, I click the aircraft. And by default, it's going to come up as USA. It's already selected the A-10A. Now here's the gotcha. Skill, if you want it to be an airplane that you can get into, you set it to Client. And the other thing I want to do now is I want to click on the map where I want to place that. So one click. And then what I can do is I want to have more of them. So I'd like to have four of these. So what I'll do is I'll click that a couple times. And there we go. Now, down here, I could probably have done it the other way as well, too. We're not worried about waypoints and stuff like that. That would be a, another video where you can go in and you can set up waypoints for the aircraft to follow. But what I want you to concentrate on right now is under the type. It's going to be a turning point by default. Now there's a couple gotchas here. Okay, What I'm going to do is I'm going to have it basically uh, take off from ramp. Uh, if I did take off from, uh, from parking hot, what's going to happen is the aircraft will have the engines running already. And now, in the voice of realism, what's going to happen is that the airplane will most likely be unarmed unless I set up the armament here. Since we're doing training missions and we're trying to figure out our airplanes and the various weapons, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this set to take off at ramp. This way, the airplane will be basically dead. You have to start it up, but before you start it up, you'll have to load it up for the armament package that you want. So what I'm going to do is this arrow here, I'm going to make sure that these guys are all going to basically do the same thing, and they should. Let me uh, click on the next one. Yep, so I've got to do the same thing. So i got to go back. Come on. Oh, you know what's happening? <laughs> if you're, and this is a gotcha right here too. you got to make sure that uh, uh, if you start seeing you're generating waypoints, you can push on the delete key, and you can make those go away. So what I can do is, so this is aircraft. 
So I'm scrolling through and I'm pointing to the screen like you guys can see this. Uh, I've done too many videos where I'm in front of something. So I'm up here and what I'm doing is I'm scrolling through and I'm looking at the bottom and making sure that they're set to take off from ramp. And they are. And you can tell that they're going to the various parking spaces that they're going to have. So that's essentially all I do to the aircraft for these first missions that we've been doing. So what I can do now is I can click on the aircraft again because we're done with these. Uh, the country is USA. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the A10C. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it over on parking spot number one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click up here because I want to have four of them. And we need to change the skill to client. Again, if they're set to anything else, it'll be AI. And then what we're going to do down here is we're going to set this down to take off from ramp. I haven't played with too many of the other features, but I did find out the hard way uh, that if you have, you know, you know, take off hot, <laughs> you're going to wind up with an unarmed airplane and have to power off because your ground crew is, gonna, is not going to go near the aircraft if the engine's running. They're kind of smart like that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to scroll through again and just uh, make sure that they're all take off from ramp. All right, and where's my airplanes? Did I lose them? Okay, so they're showing up on the runway. And what I can do is I can click on this to make that go away. Did I only select three and four? Well, you know what? <laughs> I'm not perfect, so we'll call that good. So right there we have seven friendly aircraft sitting on the runway waiting for us to join them. And if I use my wheel mouse, I can scroll way out. I can move around. All right, so we're going to take a KC-135 out here. Airplane object. Okay. And because I bloopered this the last time. <laughs> so I'm going to place the tanker here. And I'm going to give it a waypoint over here. We already have this stuff. This is fine by default. The skill is high. We want the crew to be have a good skill set here. And as you can see, we have waypoint zero and one. Now, the first thing you'll want to do here is pick an altitude because we're flying A10s. We don't have a really high service ceiling, so 30,000 feet won't work. But I'll choose 9,000 because we're not going to be that far away from the base, so that might be a good altitude. Airspeed, I'm going to leave it 270 because, well, quite frankly, for a uh, A10, that's that's tall and <laughs> that's a good speed. So now what we're going to do is we have this first option here. What we want to do is we want to go to Edit. And what we're going to do is we're going to perform a task. And we're going to have this thing do an orbit. And we're going to have it do a racetrack. And you want to make sure that this matches up to what you wanted. So, uh, what we want to do is set that back to 9,000. On the other side, we'll have to set that as well, too. So these guys match up. Well, I'm not going to argue about one foot. So there is that one. And then if we go to our next waypoint, that's over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to either editor to add, we're going to add, perform task refueling and again we're just going to make sure that this all jives and it does if I click out here there is our KC-135 and if I've, did it, if, I, if I've done it correctly and we'll find out shortly um, the tanker should be going back and forth at 9,000 feet uh, or 8,999 on the other one uh, at 270 knots it's available uh, for the A-10s uh, should they need it so now, we're going to click and drag here, and this is our bad guy base. And let's zoom in here. And just for funsies, we're going to add a couple of ships. So what I can do is, now that I have zoomed in, let's go ahead and click the ship icon. Now, what we want to do is make sure the country is Russia, because we're at the bad guys. And type, we're going to go for a bolt cargo ship. Because we learned the hard way that if we have the cruisers, they are pretty darn accurate. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to plop that there. 
Now I know if I've tried to add extra, sometimes it'll bleep at me, but so far it seems to be letting me do it. So there's that. Oops, here we go. I'm back into waypoints. Okay, and then let me close that out. And uh, I don't know how many. Sh yep. So it did really give us three ships. And that's the gist of that. And now, just so we have an idea of ground vehicles, now I've learned the hard way. Again, I keep on repeating this, uh, but I have managed to get myself shot down a couple times. If you're choosing ground vehicles, I'm going to click on the ground vehicle units here. Again, I have Russia. Uh, some of these guys, uh, even though you think they're just going to sit there and take it, um, they will fire back when attacked. <laughs> so. Uh, what I'm going to do is make sure their skill set is set to average. And what we're going to do, let's go ahead and put something like a T-72. Um, it will shoot at you, but let's, again, we're just learning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick him right there. And I'm going to add a couple of them. And we'll leave these settings alone because I haven't done a tremendous amount of play with these guys and close this out and now there we go I don't know if I can break these guys apart yeah I can hold down the control key and I can click and drag these guys around so since we're just learning how to play with Mavericks and cluster bombs and stuff like that oops come back come on I just made everything separate Oh, that's good enough. Again, still learning, don't know everything. I may come back to this video and go, what was I thinking making this? So anyway, that's what we've done. And as you can see, we got a little ring here. So I'm assuming that's going to tell us the range of the bad guys. Don't know. But anyway, that is how, let me pan way out. I may have made this too far away, especially for an A-10 flight. But yeah, it's, what did I say, what, 30 miles away? So that's how I've been doing it. I, I'm sure there's better ways to do it. I'm sure there's more ways to make it more complicated and complex. But for what we've been doing to just get our, no pun intended, feet wet uh, with the A-10 and the A-10 learning all the instruments and the weapons, uh, this has been how I've been making them. So, so there it is. Let me know in the comment section below what you think in the video. Uh, I thank you guys for watching. Remember, you can find all the cool stuff about Where Nerdy is Cool, uh, not only on my YouTube page, but also on Facebook, Where Nerdy is Cool. Uh, I post a lot of stuff on Instagram, that is Where Nerdy is Cool as well. And of course, the website is Where Nerdy is Cool, uh, com. So, that said, I thank you guys for watching. If you're not a subscriber, hit the button down there, become a subscriber. This way, you don't miss any of my videos. And speaking of my videos, I get a bunch of videos out there on 3D printing, DCS world, and more. So be sure to check those out. So anyway, wrapping it up, there's my brief little tutorial. I'll probably regret this and want to make a whole new one, but that's fine too. Thanks for watching, guys, and keep it nerdy.